Hi, this is Dorothy with Ducky Grows. Thanks so much for stopping in and seeing us today. Um, so today we're going to talk about Dutch buckets. Uh, Dutch buckets are great for large plants, anything that is a heavy feeder. So any of your tomatoes or even um, small bushes like um, even blueberry bushes I've seen in Dutch buckets. But really anything that's a large feeder, anything that's a large plant is good in Dutch buckets. Because they're good for large things, it's normally they are used in greenhouses and not normally done indoors. And since we focus on indoor growing, um, I want to show you first what they can do and then I'll show you some modifications so you can actually use the Dutch bucket systems inside and not have giant pails. Um, so first, let's go look at um, a picture of my greenhouse from last summer and we'll start from there. So this is my greenhouse from last summer and you can see I used five gallon buckets um, and the buckets are just draining with PVC pipe into a larger PVC pipe that goes into a reservoir. And this is a pretty typical um, homemade hydroponic Dutch bucket system. Nothing fancy about it but you can see the tomatoes grow very large and um, the tomatoes, the root system actually filled the entire bucket and I had a few tomatoes that started to struggle because the root system was um, overflowing the five gallon bucket. So they do really like this type of system. Now here's a commercial system and you can see it's the same technology. It's a, a feed line going in, the tomatoes are growing nice and tall and straight and there is a drain line coming out of a PVC pipe going back into a reservoir and the whole thing circles around. So you can take this technology and, and do some great things outside, but since we like indoor growing, um, this is a picture of a little um, herb planter that we did. And if you look at the herb planter, you can see that there is the same feed line going in. The herbs are growing nice and, and full and pretty, and then there is a drain line coming out, and that's a circulating system. It circulates about an hour a day, um, and that gives the plants all that they need. So you can see why uh, Dutch buckets are great for outdoor use. Um, plants tend to get really big and they are really designed for large plants. So if you have a deck or a patio or some place that you can really stretch these things out and, and have the room, Dutch buckets are wonderful. Um, if you can't grow outside in a patio or in a greenhouse or in a deck, um, you can actually do a modified system indoors. And this is what we have here. Um, this is actually just a normal uh, pot for normal house plants, we can work, but, um, and what we did was we put a feed line into the pot, so it's just like we did in the greenhouse, there's a feed line, and then the saucer actually has a drain, and the drain goes into the wood and then down and back to um, a reservoir. So if you put a, um, a drain in your saucer and drain it into a reservoir, you can certainly pump it back through a normal house plant pot. So, um, don't let the size of the Dutch buckets make it not convenient for you. Just use your imagination and do something smaller. Um, plants love this because they get a constant flow of nutrients. Um, and as long as your drain line, and I talk about this a lot, as long as your drain line is big enough, and what I like to do with Dutch buckets is I make sure that whatever I'm using, normally quarter inch for the um, solution, I use at least half inch or double um, for a drain line, that way you make sure that the pot doesn't flood. So next time we're going to talk about what to put in the pots so that they flow. But I just wanted to give you a quick introduction to Dutch buckets, um, show you that you can either buy commercial, you can do your own, or you can actually modify them for indoor use. So thanks so much for tuning in. Please check us next time because we'll talk about what you put in and why. Thank you.